Well, this spring, a brand new two-volume American history textbook was released by a distinguished professor of history, Dr. Thomas Kidd of Baylor University. He's also the associate director of Baylor's Institute for Studies of Religion and a regular contributor to World Magazine, The Washington Post, The Wall Street Journal. It is a pleasure to have you here with us Thank today. You uh, you, now, you tackle America's complex religious history. Mm -hmm. Don't hold back. <laughs> right. Well, a lot of times in the standard American history textbooks, religion kind of fades out after the founding of America. I mean, you get the Puritans and the Quakers and so forth. But uh, a lot of times after that, especially once you get past the Civil War, religion seems to just fade out of the story. Maybe a couple episodes like the Scopes Monkey Trial or something, something like that. But what I'm trying to do is to show how important religion is, sometimes for good and sometimes for bad, all through American history. Well, it seems like there's a, a lot of rewriting of American history, whitewashing over portraits of, of George Washington and yeah. things, like, things like that. Just your, your thoughts about that. Well, it's tough because I think we ought to be honest about you know not paper over the failings of uh, lots of people in our nation's history, including some that, that we've traditionally admired. But I don't think that we should sort of wag our fingers at these people in the past and act like, oh, I know I would have done better if I was back then. So I, I think there's got to be some kind of middle way to take on these issues. But, but still, there was a, an element of faith throughout oh, sure. the founding of the country. Uh, through the, the founding of the country, through the 19th and 20th century. And that helps to make sense of why America is so uh, seemingly uniquely religious today among the Western nations. I mean, you look at England by comparison, not very religious at all. And America is, is pervasively religious and it doesn't seem to be going away. And so one of the things I'm trying to do in the book is to explain why. Well, and you kind of have major themes of religion, obviously, the ethnic and racial conflict and uh, inter our entertainment culture. You know, just in the, in the news tease a moment ago, we're talking about the accusations of racism, I mean, that just it doesn't seem to be going away. How do you address that in these textbooks? Right. I, I think there's a tendency always with these news issues to think, oh, uh, this is, you know, new to today. But uh, when you go back in history, uh, ethnic, racial conflict and so forth, it's not a new story. Uh, immigration itself was a huge issue in American politics in the 1850s, the 19-teens, 20s. Uh, and, and so I think if we go back and look at those precedents, it can kind of help make sense of what's going on today. Now, who have you uh, written these texts for? What age group are we looking it's at? It's definitely pitched to sort of the college freshman level, mm -hmm. maybe AP U.S. history in high school. And it's, it's with a Christian publisher, and so it's definitely for the Christian college market, although I have had some public uh, school professors and teachers contacted me about it as well. And they can maybe get a copy of the of the text how? Uh, teachers can request exam copies at bhacademic.com and if you're just interested in reading a copy of it you can sure get it on Amazon. Uh, you're a prolific writer you've got another <laughs> book coming out in November quickly what is that? I do it's, <laughs> it's called America's Religious History and that that one is focused it's shorter of course and it's focused just on the religious tradition in America, where these textbooks cover, you know, World War II and the, you know the kind of topics that you would expect to see in American history textbook. Yeah. And you, so you can go to Amazon, I guess, and definitely, and uh, get those books. All right, thank you so much, thank Dr. Good. Always a pleasure to, to get to you. talk to you.